So last time we left our heroes. Yes, I'm the one updating us. I know out of the ordinary. Um, before we um, start this particular campaign, as a reminder, this will be our last session for about a month. All you very viewers out there for Overlord, um, I'm sorry about this, but these guys really need to work on their NPC characters, of which they are going to summon for helping during, you know, help with either battle or business preparations. They really need to work on these characters. So I'm giving them a month to work on these characters. So, um, sorry for the, again, hiatus, but it's going to be very short, very to the point. Uh, let's see here. Other announcements. Um, see here. Uh, for that guy who uh, sent me that nice uh, message on YouTube, uh, yeah, I have the tendency to sometimes forget uh, to eat. I'm sorry. Whenever I get into a homebrewing move, I forget about everything else in this world until I remember, oh, I have to eat and exist. <laughs> um, Today I had crawfish etouffee. It was pretty good. <laughs> Sweet. Today I had a very Japanese meal and I was happy. I was a happy, happy boy. Cup of noodles and a very piping hot thing of green tea. So I'm a happy boy. That's food. Anyway. Happy, happy, happy. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, back to the task at hand. Last time we left our heroes, the gamers, a group of adventurers who found themselves in a new world, um, took on a task of destroying sect of ogres and goblin alliance uh, who were about to invade Karn Village. Come to find out that uh, the the numbers have swelled in size since the announcement to a bonkers amount. And they decided to battle anyway um, uh, with the transformation of one Fritzillian, uh, who is now a guardian of the forest uh, at the behest of the um, god of the forest. They now strive to protect the forest of Tobe, which seems to be being hostily taken over by two kings known as the giant of the east and the demon snake of the west. Um, the battle has gone decent thus far, but unfortunately the players have taken quite the number of hits because of how well these goblins seem to be doing. And Synth was, acted as a human shield, uh, of which he basically did a reminiscent of the Telltale games and said Synth will remember this. Of course, uh, anyway, now, as they were battling, they heard a commotion. And coming up to the battlefield, uh, they heard and saw all of radiant fire rain down upon some of the goblins and just kill Hundreds of the goblins, any of the ogres. And uh, you last saw an individual come out of the semi-darkness and start growing in size as we begin our next session. As Before we start become bloody, next time in these roll within 30 feet of me and they do a crit, let me know. Because uh -huh. I have ability to cancel that out. Okay. As the individual closer. You see growing, growing, growing in size as he starts to get closer. Oh, he's handsome. Uh, you see that he has quite the shining armor upon him. It looks to be a huge great sword in both hands that has a hilt that resembles that of the sun. And he has a very chiseled jaw with Five o'clock shadow kind of flowing across it. No evidence of actual facial hair yet, but there is definite five o'clock shadow there. Long blonde flowing hair and glowing eyes that look like two little tiny suns. Pull him onto the battlefield, but I will not reveal. Amers, what are you doing? As you see the individual see you guys and calmly take his sword planted in the ground 
cross his arms and lean against the tree. Synth, it is your turn. All right. I'm immediately going to start off with Divine Protection. I'll put it on uh, me, Rosu, and uh, Fritz. It heals for 1d8. That's a 1. And uh, stand behind you, Nyx, and I'll end my turn there. Mm, Okie dokie. Let me double check some holy shield. This particular thing doesn't really have a range. I won't say like it has a bubble effect that actually affects Hildric. Um, he's immune to radiant damage for like one or two more turns. I completely forgot about that. Thank you. Yes, I am not going to forget about that. Like you like going going by him. <laughs> well, regardless, I will say that. You won't be affected by it because unprotection doesn't seem to have that information with it, and I don't think I developed it that way. So Hildric will move forward. No idea how to fucking work this fucking of a thing. He's just going to fist him. Oh gosh! And that's other attack. So I need to do it twice. So another fifteen. Oh, that's a joke. Remember, he also has another thing on him that lets him, like, do some massive damage. Yes. I know, but I don't know how pugilist works. No, I'm and talking about um, the spell I put on, which was... Did you post it? Yes, because I cast this on several people. Uh, let me scroll back. It was uh, the one that lets you... Enhance ability. Yeah. And I did it at mid-tier on him and silence and um, synth. That's right. This one has an unpredictable. Okay, affirm. Frankly, give me a sec. Because you told me he did like fifty damage, mm. whatever. Okay, bludgeoning. So, uh, Hildrick, uh comes forth and does a double strike against the um, ogre. And as he strikes for <laughs> the ogre, unlike the, la- unlike the last ogre he punched, the last ogre mm-hmm. lost his head. This one is actually pushed back. Oh. He is still alive, but he looks very bloodied. Uh, silence. Yes, yes. Okie dokie. Okay, I want to ask first, because last time you warned me about using Aspect of the Devil. Yeah, la, 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 la. No metal metagaming. What does your character want yeah. to do? Okay. Yeah, Sorry, Sorry uh, I'm being interrupted. But yes, yeah, Silence, Synth, and Hildrick all have mid tier enhance ability. Okay, sorry about that. Um, well, I just wanted to make sure it like wouldn't like break anything. I just wanted to make sure first if I was allowed to use it. Oh yeah, you're allowed to use it. Okay, cool. Um, I'd like to summon the big boy, my dear sons. Okay, what tier are you using? That's uh tier three, right? To make a big. Goro. Yes. Oh. Gosh. Uh-huh. Okay, well, Silence is totally going to cast that. I didn't want a metagame. I just wanted to make sure nothing would explode. Where are you casting him at? Probably, like, in the base, like, in front of me and stuff. Like, it's a pretty empty area. You, you Okay. <laughs> I can't say anything. Okay, so okay. at level... Three tier at the. I'm bringing up my sons. Okay, so you are you uh, cast out your three sons. They make a they make a circle ground. And for your information, uh, just so you know, mm-hmm. you have complete control over this thing Ooh. for the next 48 hours. Yeah. Unless it is directly harmful to the creature. If you ask it to do anything that would potentially harm it, doesn't matter what it is, like experiments, something like that, you will lose control and it will immediately become hostile. Does combat count for that? or? No, I mean, something that would actually cause your friends to, like, attack it or, you know, you attack it, you know. Any, Any time that your friends attack it, it will become hostile. Okay, guys, don't don't do that. I uh, I don't know what you're doing. Here. So, <laughs> so um, as the magic releases, uh, the little your little boys all of a sudden go vertical instead of horizontal on the ground, make a sort of a portal, and you see a thing step out. Get it? Level, level D, level, level D. Close. 
excited. Welcome to the world, Asmodeus. What? You see uh, a very familiar guard what? step through the portal, uh, donned in black armor. What? Hey, kids, I don't, I don't. It, are you guys sure that's the right thing? Um, number 55 through number 60. You gain control of an enemy NPC for the next 48 hours. Holy shit. You rolled for Here's Phelan. the next table. Rolling <laughs> number 56 for mid-tier enhance ability. Enemy NPCs, I had to roll something in secret. One of them was Bailiff. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> How do you come up with these OP save silence? I don't know, but it keeps happening. So for the next 48 hours, Bailiff is considered a friendly. Let's go, baby. You, you know what's funny? You know what's funny? One of the en enemy NPCs that you could have gained control of could have gained control of, get this, you could have gained control of the hacker. <laughs> but he's funny. weak. Actually, well, I'm not going to tell you yet. Well, he was well, weak body, when we body. last saw him. Let's just say oh. that. Yeah, yeah. But anywho, next person's turn. Oh, are you done, Silence? Silence, is there anything else you want to do? I, can I just, like, shout out, like, hey, hey, guys, don't, don't attack him. I promise he's not going to kill you this time. It's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about him. <laughs> is there a road to... Uh, I I I don't know how I my was, character would feel about this. I was secretly hoping that Silence would have like rolled something slightly different. If she got any lower, she would have gotten a Grave Titan. Bailiff <laughs> yeah. is more. If she okay. got one. If she got one higher, she would have gotten Asmodeus. <laughs> okay, that is pretty OP. <laughs> or, excuse me, Asmodeus, as they call him in the uh, Asmodeus. Asmodeus is a snake. It's a snake, <laughs> yes. I think that's my turn, though. Please, please okay. don't kill him, guys. It's okay. He's good. Uh, does my eye see anything different <laughs> besides me freaking out right now? Uh, you see. Caleb stepped through the thing. See at his oh, at his um, whitening visage seems to be regressing and progressing at the same time. Like something's fighting it. Um, uh, you do see him look behind him, see silence, intentionally move in front of her, and draw both of his great swords in each hand. Ah. Okay, so nothing, so it's all pretty normal sight, right? Pretty much, yeah. How about the new guy on the field, Mr. Blondie? Mr. Blondie? He seems shocked that the cat actually, he seems genuinely shocked that a cat actually summoned this, this beast. He doesn't seem to be moving, though. So, no other rat on stuff circling those two or anything? You do notice that he does have a singular hand on his mighty great sword, this blonde individual. Okay, so this let me get this right. The blonde and individual he's, and he's gone from he's gone from medium to now a huge size. Is he just leaning on the tree? Or does he Very look gently, mind you? Okay. Uh does he look like he's aggressive to us? Kind of insight oh. this. Sure, go ahead. Because I know right over his head is the words pride. Mm -hmm. I have been... This battle has gone nuts in less than fucking two uh, rounds. I don't Sorry. know if I should run or stay and fight. <laughs> oh, that was so Insight. close. Ooh. Okay, so, so um, you notice point. that he does not look hostile towards you. He just he looks more curious on how the fight will turn out. Oh, okay. Uh, mm. He has a very calm expression. Yeah, lucky for him. The third round of my magic. So I'll take step here and then five feet. And another get behind synth again. And 
actually. Are you? Yeah, I have to get right behind Synth. And all three now <laughs> get healed by my aura as I pass through them with 2d8 healing. So okay. Everybody gets 11 healing. I only get one more round of this. And shoot, 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 You a aura protection. Uh, I can't do another concentration spell because of daylight. Right. So sorry. Oh no! Take your time, please. Okay. Get to fun. after after so many times on Skyrim, they finally get to press this button. Okay. Oh. That gives me the shivers. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, yes. <laughs> I put a. I look to Sith. And I'm like, I'm sorry, and I cast Sanctuary mid tier on him. As you cast, uh, attempt to cast the Sanctuary, it goes off without a hitch. <laughs> oh, it's mid tier, so I don't know what it does. So, oh, I'll leave that up to myself. I'll check my notes. While is that it? That's it. Let's you go. All right, let me continue my onslaught with Sunbeam since this lasts for a minute, which is nice. All right, take out the goblins. Yes, I'm trying to take out goblins. Seven. I believe I was just using it normal. It's just I'm blasting. It shoots okay. out. Okay. Oh, interesting. You actually managed to kill 42 in one go. Nice. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm trying to get rid of a lot of archers. Big guys, it looks like we got those handled, so. You just know that you've killed a lot, okay? You don't know what they are. You just know that this sunbeam clearly did some fucking damage. You're just in the heat of battle right now. You can't really tell what you're taking out currently. And basically that means I'm still concentrating on it, which means I just keep <laughs> it now because now it's just a concentration at this point because I can move it around wherever I want now. <laughs> right. Well, I can okay. change the arc direction is what I can do is what it is. Okay. It's going. All right. I got you. But that takes my action to do that, so. Oh, yeah. Okay, next up, back up to the start of the turn order. My baby boy. Oh. So what's your command for him? Kill. Uh, <laughs> Not us, you right? Don't actually, kill what? The big guys. Kill the ogres. Kill the ogres. Caleb doesn't respond. As he casts, as uh, as he activates one of the rings on his finger as a free action, cast fly mm -hmm. upon himself. Okay. <clears throat> Proceeds to activate release restraints. Oh, we're about to see a new cap in our uh, And invoke one of his other abilities called Fearsome Presence. So I must make a constitution saving throw for all those uh, that he deems necessary. Does that include us? You still... are friendly compared okay. to him. He will not be targeting you. I'm sorry. I'm still scared. <laughs> <laughs> sorry I did this. Didn't mean to. Okay, so I got to roll this. If Rosu uh, can look any more pale, she, she would. Uh, you see a few of the goblins who were hiding. All of a sudden, you straight up and paralyzed. With fear, they fall over. Oh my god. And finally, he will do his action, which he will cast at ninth level. Fireball right below him. Huh. Uh, just normal fireball, right? Just unlocked level three re restraint. It's not a normal fireball. Uh, <laughs> please don't hit us. So, friendly fire. I'm going to just at the deck. Fritz, you may have to regrow this whole area. Yeah, Hope you probably. guys didn't value your lives. We have to sit down with you, Silence, and say what you can and cannot do. I didn't mean to do it. It just happened. I feel like Look at those numbers. We definitely Holy shit. As he just, you see a little ball of fire go from his fingertip slowly down to the surface of the world. <laughs> Mushroom cloud. Do we have to make con saves since we're so close to it? Not well, you or Sim, but Hildrick. Oh. Uh oh. Uh, Hellfire. Hellfire. I don't think I gave him immunity to fire 
Okay, so since he wasn't a target of this particular spell, it will only take a percent of this damage. Wait, just a lot. Give or take. Let me just do some meth. It's like good shit. No, I'm sorry. He's not immune to fire. Uh, his immunity is only for only magic and poison. Oh my god. Necro. Oh my god. Oh, sorry. Oh my god. Is he barely I hanging on? He has one hit point. Oh, he has gosh. one hit point. He, he has I'm... one hit point. Oh, oh I need shit. to I'm so sorry. So as <laughs> you are looking upon the world, you see the nature around you is unaffected, and only the ogres have taken damage. And Hildrick. <laughs> and Hildrick. Who is like and a black sheer outline. backlash of like the shockwave. Oh my gosh. As ogres, this ogre's gone, this ogre's gone, this ogre's gone. This ogre's gone. So how many in total? He killed a grand total of 785 goblins. Oh. <laughs> along with... Oh, that's all, uh, uh, that was actually a lot less than I was expecting. Huh. Uh, it appears that he only managed to kill 21 of the ogres. Okay, mid tier magic is OP. Um, so, after that brutal devastation, Synth, uh, your turn as you see an ogre. Quite a few ogres are still alive who managed to stay out of the blast charge forward. I'm, I'm gonna look back to Rozu, ask her if I really need to go up there. I feel like I do I do more back here on this. Do they look like they're still stupid enough to come? Very much so. I see. They just saw an explosion. They didn't see who did it. <laughs> She kind As of they pats charge you on the shoulder, right like, past Don't Bayless. worry, they can't hit you. Go for it. <laughs> With two thumbs up. Uh, all right. Oh, I still have my astro arms, so I can hit them from here. Uh, should I just roll like three times per hit? Or how does it work? Okay, so you're so you're trying to hit them. Yes. Okay, so roll three times for hit. <laughs> okay, all three of those hit. Uh, which one are you hitting? The one to my right first. This one. Yep. And okay, as you do this, your first it goes. Have you ever have you ever seen Dragon Ball Z? Yes. Okay, you are familiar with Nappa's move Bomber DX. Indeed, I am. That came out of your fucking arm and just there's only toes now left of this poor thing. Oh, oh enhance ability so pee on you. <laughs> uh you, uh, you, Synth, you see, you see actually a goblin see this happen. He drops his blade and then goes on and like goes onto his hands and knees. <laughs> you see a couple of other goblins do this same. Are they chanting God, God, God? <laughs> no, no, they have surrendered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Well, there's not much of a bite for them to eat. <laughs> uh, the, the, the other one. You proceed to punch forward. A different effect happens. <laughs> punch so fast that you swear you grow three other arms. And punch six times. You are punching so fast. Jesus. I had JoJo reference in my mind just then. <laughs> How dare you? I was making a reference to Kenichi, the mightiest disciple. I know. There will be consequences of that later. But Rutsu. it's a good show. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> Synth, what else for your turn? Uh, extra attack for the, uh, this guy. Okay. <laughs> it, it, How do you want to do this? <laughs> it was that one hit point. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll turn him to literal dust. Oh, my one more. Nani? You hit him once, like in the perfect, in the perfect, like, fist of the northern star. And then he just. <laughs> dust. You turn back to Rosie and she still has her thumbs up. It's like, yeah. Um. So, since you are able to see there is a singular ogre left, he sees what you did and lays down his arms. <laughs> oh, but I love Oh, There's like actually a lot more um, villains left. Eldrick will do something wise and go this way. 
it, go back to standing. Retreat. <laughs> Wait, you still have yeah, movement still left? Have, yeah, I have 50. Oh my just to get gosh. Uh, si- silence. What do you do? Okay. I don't know and what I can there, do that can look. Mm-hmm. There are still goblins currently in war with you guys. All the ogres are either dead, deceased, or surrendered. Okie dokie. I don't know what I can really do that's going to top whatever the fuck they <laughs> did, because that, that was kind of... Sheesh! <coughs> um, uh, not you two. Uh-oh. No, I'm no, sorry. you just said sheesh. I hate that. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Really no, no, it's no big deal. Uh, okay, so first I'm gonna move so I don't accidentally shoot Hildur because that would be that would be really mean of me. You got the truth. We shoot Bailiff, he's down. Oh no! Uh oh. <laughs> and then I'm gonna cast Incendiary. I can remember how to cast spells every time I forget. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Natural twenty. <laughs> oh my one more. Shinderu. Enhance ability. Yes, you have enhanced ability with the natural 20. <laughs> I don't oh, know. God. I don't know why I, what's Hold happening on. to me tonight. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got a double with check. Holy so fire. It's mid tier enhanced ability with the natural 20. Uh, nuke. We already have one nuke go off. Who nukes? As you cast it, she cast it. Island. Yes, silence goes over the battlefield. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, spaghettios. You hear something above all of you. <laughs> Did the night become day? As you see. Nope, she just cast unintentionally, like you. Meteor. You, a new type of magic. Uh-oh. She cast meteor, didn't she? She cast meteor rain. Uh-oh. Maybe I should stop okay. casting spells forever. <laughs> Maybe I should put down my staff. You see a lot of tiny little meteors just pelt these goblins. It's like, have you ever seen something be sandblasted? Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> we just yes. made the woods into the moon crater. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You see, you see these poor goblins get Helded by these many, many, many meteorites and freaking just their their skin is just ripped off of their of their bodies and just from head oh, to toe oh. as it's happening. It is a horrible fucking way to go. Yeah. As they are just rained down upon and they can just they just stand there as they just slowly die from being ripped apart by tiny particles. So why do I imagine this happening in their heads in slow motion as Ave Maria is playing in the background? <laughs> <laughs> oh, kind oh of, yeah, kind of, yeah. Okay, <laughs> anything else for Miss... <laughs> Miss How many did she kill? I, I could do more things, but I just feel bad at this point. I feel like I should That's just stop. Very good question. Did she kill with that one? I'm gonna stop myself before I, I do anything else and cause greater harm to the environment and my peers. I imagine at this point, Rosu just has this shock expression. No matter what, now <laughs> so I was just kind of like just start staring and just start like backing up slowly, like awkwardly whistling. Um, well, you got a perfect 100. Yeah. Wow. Rosu. <laughs> Yay. Uh, this would be so significantly worse if it was max magic. Uh, I'm never going to do that ever because I think I'd explode <laughs> everyone. So are there still people coming? Yeah, there are still goblins. Oh my gosh. Okay, I slowly look to the guy in the blonde hair, see his reaction. <laughs> you see him take the other hand off, uh, off, uh, off the hilt of his uh of his sword and just give up. Okay. <laughs> mm, righty <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Oh. You see up. him eating popcorn. <laughs> Wonder how he got popcorn. From all the heat that's going around, I'm pretty sure he just let it pop in midair. Yeah, probably. Who knows? Let's see. Uh, backed up to here. Do the eight. Okay, that's the last of the healing for everybody. Uh-huh. Uh, my aura goes away. And I'm going to touch um, Brit's new gooey giant body. It's like, uh, I hate to try this, but apparently it's working really well. 
Good luck. And I'm casting eh? Enhance Ability oh, mid-tier no, again. I had to use a level 5 slot because that's all oh, God, I have. Did you fucking do that? Yeah. So, I have a question. What does my Sunbeam now will do? Uh, hold on. Oh, and God. then I'll turn to Hildrick and I'm like, let's get you healed up. And I'm going to do Toll of the Dead on him. So that uh, He'll choose to fail. Okay. And I'm at what level? So it be 12. I could just get the spell. Why did it not work? Like, what death oh, shall I reign now? It just, God. Mm, I don't want the spell card. Merged. I want the attack. Thank you. Okay, see an enhance ability, uh, toll of the wait, dead, no. thaumaturgy. Stop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. That took a while. Okay. There we go. He heals for whenever it shows no thing. Why did it say no thing? Wait for it! I'm just going to roll 3d12. It heals for 18. Alright, so, you're back turned, you see this. But silence you might if you give me a perception check. Okie dokie. Okay, you definitely see this. As you see Fritz. Uh oh. <clears throat> what? <laughs> I have had magic overload. Oh shit. Oh Four. shit! What? Um, is there gonna be a full night of him? As you see Fritz split four ways. Are they all huge? Oh, nope. they're all normal size. Uh, as he was huge, but then you use enhance ability, which caused him for all that magic that's currently inside him to become unstabilized. And now he has four sons. Holy and shit. And or daughters. Too much power. Too much power. Uh I do not know this. Uh, you turn back around and you see four Fritz, uh, five Fritzes. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Oh. Hello. Are you me or are you not me? That is a question. I'm your son. I'm your son. I'm your son. I'm your daughter. They have gender. Good for you. Well, they can technically choose their identity if they want. So, so my question is, what can they do? They can do. That's a great question. What can we do? I have no idea. Let's copy dad. Yeah. <laughs> I really hope that we're off. Well, I mean, oh. now I just have children in the world. That's all that that means. As they proceed to join you as if like in Ghostbusters and then cast Sunbeam in order to combine with your own Sunbeam. You can call that a Sunbeam. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Giga Sunbeam. <laughs> the ultimate Bert. <laughs> so, uh, Fritz, it is now your turn. All so right, I would like I, to uh, for Sunbeam. I need you to make instead of just one Sunbeam attack. I need you to make five. All right, let me get to my character so again. Question me. Uh, someone questioned me. Like, uh, they, the, one of my friends questioned me. They were watching one of our over. He was like, "Why are you making them so overpowered?" I was like, "That's the whole point of Overlord." You eventually become so overpowered that nothing can challenge you. All right, so that means I'll need to, need to name my children later. That's another thing, too. Oh, shit, they get names? Oh, yes, gosh. Names. <laughs> How are we going to know what's which? Do we, like, do we, like, dress them up? Uh, they they'll take on their own different identity form if they wish, so. Oh. Yeah, they'll eventually, like, take on their own personalities. Cute. Roll for it, man. So that's goes. one. Two. Right. Is it not wrong, or... I'm pressing on thing. That's why. Taking its sweet time with it. That's for fucking sure. Up oh, there goes two, three, and four, one, one more. more. Five, six. Jeez. Sorry, I pooped it twice by accident. My bad. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. That uh, was a big thing. So, uh, question How do you want to finish the fucking battle? Because you all aim for a singular goblin who is the only one left alive who hasn't surrendered. Oh. We just go. Sorry, little fella. Bye bye. And it charges. It's like, just ah! annihilation, dude. Just it's annihilation like, beam. Yeah, it's it's like Dodoria dying to freaking Vegeta, just stretched out and then just dust. <laughs> mm. We just cast annihilate, annihilate. Bell of explode, goblin. All right, so now I need to write down. I have three sons and a daughter. I... Oh, I will give you a folder specifically for that. So, oh, Lovely. thank you. I mean, bloody, I dislike you now. Now I have to draw this. <laughs> I plan That's what you get. To draw, that is what you get. I, I plan to draw Sir Fluffy with his thing polymorph into a raptor. 
Now I have to chunk that to the side and draw him and his three sons and daughter. Thank you very much. Hopefully very I can welcome. make my um Glad I oh, could help. time date I put on myself. Dang it. <laughs> anyway, as battle subsides and all these corpses are just littering the ground. What corpses? <laughs> well, there are corpses. Oh, there, are, there are some that uh, are left behind. Um, uh, you see the goblins very quickly, like crawl on their hands and knees towards you guys, and like hold out their hands ready for manacles. These are normal goblins and not cannibal goblins. Uh, I don't have that. Uh, they're fluffy. Maybe you can. She waves her arm. Craft something. Can I? I mean, Fritz, not fluffy. Oh gosh. That's a great question. I mean, you're a druid. Right, do it, crap. I can do stump shape. <laughs> uh, you attempt it, and oh, what uh, could you bring forth the um the spell, please? A uh, wall of stone. Oh okay. no, yeah. this is why I said druid craft. Well, druid craft does not do that. Maybe admit it. See the wall of stone or shape stone. Maybe enhance ability might help it. Yeah, so probably shape stone then. Wait, do I have it prepared? Uh, They're not going to live. No, I do not have uh. I don't know how to have shape stone prepared. Sorry. Thought I had it prepared, but didn't. As the two most fearsome individuals start walking forward. Oh, I uh, get behind silence. <laughs> At the same time, I am, each time I can, I'm going to keep on using Toll of the Dead <laughs> to heal Hildrick. <laughs> That's completely understandable. So, uh, a couple more times. So, as you guys are talking, you notice that your particular spell. Rozu that you cast to shed light eights and the individual shrinks. What? It lasts like for like eight hours or something. Oh, it does? Uh, I well, believe so. That... Let me, as long as I'm concentrating, no, one hour. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I don't think we've been battle for one hour, but no, no, but uh, they walk towards you. Um, Vela, it's right. Up to silence. Okay, I am over here now. <laughs> like, I, wants nothing she cowers, of that. Behind, she cowers behind you and then bolt. Okay, so I see him coming, yes. As you say, love, cowering over you, menacing as always, and then he abruptly, it's not every day where someone can control me. Yeah, sorry about that. I I didn't mean to, but you kind of just you're here now. You can leave well, if you want. No, uh, let's not. I am go unfortunately bound to your side till the forty hours are over. Uh, mm, okay, can we make a little deal, really quick? Mm. You don't kill me or my friends, and I let you go early, and you can just go do whatever you want, like now That's instead of in forty eight hours. How the magic works. Ah. Uh, Okay, well, I can. Can I just like let you do whatever you want? Silence. You have, or do you have to be near me? Silence. What? Whatever I want, Mary. <laughs> Silence. Come here. What? Okay. I'm sorry. I'll be right back. Um, Rosie needs me. What do you want? I'm going to, I'm trying to negotiate. Her in a huddle. I'm like, first thing, if you let him go, which you probably can't because of the contract thing, which is really freaky, by the way. I don't know what he did, but he's here now. I'm sorry. Second, he said something about 48 hours. Me, me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, return to look. Uh, you see Valef has Hildrick by the mouth and is casting a spell. What the fuck? Uh, what are you, you doing? As you, as you see, as you hear him say, whatever I want. As he okay. casts a necromantic spell on on uh Hildric. on Hildrick. And ironically, this would normally kill someone like that. Yep, on him it heals. As he casts my version of power word kill. What the fuck? So it's the heal. Oh my gosh. So basically it's literally like the heal spell for him. Yeah, I know. Basically, yeah, as as Hildrick. It was like, who's weak and can't do anything, all of a sudden heals rapidly. He goes back up to maximum. Okay, pull Silent back down. Okay, uh -huh. he's helpful. I don't know about the blonde guy, but 
if I figure this much and we have the most OP guy around, this sounds horrible since we just got a big battle. Maybe give him a tour to, I don't know, bring certain items to us? Because I'm pretty sure he might know where our original items are. Oh, that's true. We could ask for the crystal. Or, I don't know, destroy Ball's body so it won't come after us or something like that. Yeah, the main thing I was worried about was, like, as soon as the 48 hours are over, he's just going to, like, look at us and just evaporate us with his mind beeps. Yeah, that's why I said before. That way well, yeah, but like, and after he gives us the whatever, we can send him off somewhere far, far away. So when he snaps out of it, oh. he will be by us. That's true. That's smart. That's very smart. Mm. And that's still and freaky make, like, as she list. points to Fritz and all Fritz goo. <laughs> yeah, that's big concerning. I'm, I'm worried about that. But well, right now, I'm in the process of naming them. So uh, <laughs> delightful. Please write those down, and then I, I am. Will- Give you I'm literally contemplating names right now. <laughs> oh, I got drink down. Fritz one, Fritz two, Fritz three, no. Fritz four, and Gerald. Thing one, thing two. Uh, but those are just ideas. But I still don't know what the ball. And the girl wants. will be named Steve. Good name. <laughs> no, I was actually thinking of more of a flower-based name. Oh, uh, that's cute. Amaryllis. So she gives you a pat on the back. You could get close to him. I'm not moving any closer. Okay, well, yeah. make me a list of things that you want, and I'll I'll try to get them. My virtual items and the crystals. If you can, let's destroy whatever's holding Paul's body to this. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah? I hate to interrupt, but I wish to speak with you. Which one? Whoever's in charge. I'm going to sneak behind Rosu now. It's her turn to be in front. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I- I'm sure she looks around. A Sim was that group. Did you see a group walking it? <laughs> Sim, where have you gone? <laughs> what, what do you mean? I've been right here the entire time. <laughs> I oh, do I have have not come for a fight. That's what they normally say in sight. Is he telling the truth? Because I could tell right away. Sure, I check. I don't know if I really need to roll since my thing says I could see if they're telling the truth. You know instantly he is telling the absolute truth. He has no his his sword is nowhere near him. Okay. I've just come here to talk and see the battle. It was very fun. <laughs> it was one of her, she rubs her neck. It, most interesting battles yet. Yes, I was not expecting the overseer's pet to come play, but I've seen unpredictable things happen in the past. He calmly just finds a stump of an old tree that has yet to like be taken over by nature, and he just sits down. So now, please. No, go ahead. Uh, sorry. I- I help that you're some kind of holy paladin. <laughs> I I am a barbarian scourge paladin. I fight with holy magic. Oh, and rage. Ah, uh, uh, normally, uh, okay. Yes, I gained the title pride is because whenever I claimed something, it always came to fruition, and thus the game masters deemed that I deserved this title. I am one of the few of the members of the Seven Deadly Sins that might actually be non-hostile towards you gamers. The Overseer seems desperate to kill all of you. He seems like he's desperate to kill any player. That, yes. He wants to control this new world and its resources. But I will say this. I have no interest in such thing. I want to go home. Oh. I want to see my wife and child. Oh, you're a gamer with a family. Yes. I mean, I'm happy that somebody's out there that wants else to go home to. Well, it's yeah. There's actually many of us in the Seven Deadly Sins that want to go home. Uh, there's only a few that want to stay here, either because they have no family to speak of, or they love the power that they have obtained. Such as my good friend. Well, he's not a friend, but he's in my guild. He's the sin of gluttony. By the way, apologies. My name is Pero Zachari. It is a pleasure. 
Username, I'm guessing? Yes. Okay. My character's name is Zacharias, but I prefer to go by my gamertag so I don't get confused with this new world. Can I just call you Paro? Whatever suits you. Okay. I would be on the lookout for people under the influence of the sin of gluttony. It's not what you expect expect from the sin of gluttony. It's not insatiable hunger or anything like that. They have an insatiable desire for power. That almost sounds like greed. It is, because unfortunately gluttony and greed are one person. Unfortunately, our overseer, that's what we have to call him, he used the hacker's abilities in order to hack our titles. And he gave two to one person, and a couple of others to other people. Explain some things. Yes, unfortunately, our current... His current project on that one tiefling individual, uh, currently on a standstill, we hit a roadblock. Because he's dead. No, actually, it appears whatever deity he borrowed power from in this world prevents any more making of powerful paladins. Apparently, all of our copies have suffered an inactivity. Rosalie looks up at the sky and mouth, thank you, God. (laughs) They are pretty much mannequins at this point. Useless. Probably wondering why someone like me would come and talk to you people. I have no desire to kill any of you. I may be a normal human being by Yggdrasil's standards, but I never had any desire to kill in human races. I desire two things while I'm in this world. One, a way out. And two, more than anything, I need, I desperately need someone to invent pizza. On it, you just hear Prince in the background. Look, I have no desire to battle against your people. Act, if you are willing, I am willing to throw the overseer's scent off your case. I mean, that'd be great right now. We have a bit of a problem of our own. So, yeah. What does everybody else think? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. And to show my goodwill, I brought something. He produces a bag. He lays it down on the ground. And then he upturns it and a chest appears. And those bags. Unlocks it. And guys, you see all of your original belongings. Holy shit. I think I never actually went through what what my original belongings were. So. We'll deal with that Sorry. after game. Yeah. <clears throat> you see all sorts of like good luck tokens, powerful items, stuff that you never thought you'd see again. He was like, cash shop items. Girl. <laughs> yeah. He, here's a token of my goodwill. I decided not to attack you. By the way, I'm done naming my children. <laughs> okay. We will take care of that later. Well, <laughs> I know some of you might have had a horrible time in this world. I know my senses of undead have been constantly going off and it has rubbed me many nights of sleep. Yeah, I understand that feeling. You understand, thank goodness. Are you, wait, you're a cleric. Yes. I can tell by the robes. It's always, uh, he like, he like gets up and he like, uh, like uses his, he's like, it's always a pain. Always to go near any sort of graveyard because you know your senses are going to about to go to go off. That or a ghost will come by and bug you or heck. Of course. There's always always a talking skeleton around. Do you know how many talking skeletons I've, they've asked me to send them to the afterlife? Fifteen! I have Always in the dead of night. No talking skeletons have asked to be the creature, but that's a different story. <laughs> it's because of my particular class of paladin, Lord paladin. Usually undead who don't decide to be killed forcefully by me will beg to actually be sent to the afterlife. <sighs> For me, it's just ghosts. Really? Yeah. Oh, you must be a grave dumb. Yes. Ha! I was right. But Wait, no telling but you... your overseer. Oh, heavens no. I actually carry this symbol right now. And he reveals a little onk, same as yours. Which is why I decided to... Oh, so you met the other god then? Hi. We had a talk. 
Apparently, he met a very nice young lady and decided to make another. I was losing my power very rapidly. Ah. Uh, I had to fix it. Yeah, my power got killed off. Killed? Oh, it must be one of the false gods. I wonder who it was, though. You find out. Trust me. I think the head is somewhere in you guys' face now. Did she have glasses? Did have glasses, yeah. Uh, okay. I never learned her name, but honestly, with that kind of face, I don't think I want to know. She looked like she... L I she looked like she ate children. I'd rather not remember her anymore. I have to suffer her face every time I go back to base. For now. I, once, once I find a way back home, anyone who wants to join me is more than welcome to. I'll be joining that. Ritz goes in a weird way. I'm kind of happy to be here. It's not because of the power. It's our world, man. Kind of fun. It's a messed up world. It is a very messed up world. But from what I heard of the Overseer, something has vastly changed. He claims that something drastic has happened on the side. I mean, as much as he's been messing with stuff, yeah. Anyway, oh, one thing before I forget and leave. I understand that there's another player not a part of your party right now. He goes around in the form of an elder lich of the guild Einzelgaun. Uh, maybe. I've seen him before. Don't act like he doesn't exist. I, I, Again, won't reveal where he is, but is the thing. The overseer wants to send. His favorite creation to destroy Ainz. I want to warn him. Uh, will do. Are you talking about the points to Caleb? Yes, that thing. Oh, apparently that won't happen for 48 hours, so... 48 hours. That's what he said. <laughs> Which... Question. Just, we're going to talk Question. about this later. Question. Do any of you know ninth tier spells? Uh, slowly raised my hand. You have access to those spells. Shake my head, no. Bugger. I'll do some research in the next 24 hours. If I find anything, I'll send you a message by carrier pigeon. Why? I like pigeons. I was going to say you can't send a message and she taps her head. Unfortunately, that's not one of the spells I actually took. Oh, I mean, if you want... Besides, it takes out the fun of training pigeons. Pigeons are I mean, crazy. there's... They're so fat and adorable and so stupid yet so smart. Hey. And if you train them right, they can poop on your co-worker's car. <laughs> I guess you've done this in real life. Okay. Maybe. He shifts his eyes from side to side. <laughs> okay. Look, I just I like love this guy. Okay, I love He He was lying about not training them, huh? He lied about the part where he didn't make train them to poop on his co-worker's car. Okay. Definitely lied about that. I'm like, I'm like, you can't lie to me in the back of my head. <laughs> okay, whatever you, you say. It, you, it sounds like no. I definitely didn't train them to poop on my coworkers' car. Uh, but anyway, if I find and instantly get rid of this threat or change. I'll let you know in the next 24 hours. Do I if not, need to send I the know back? You can send me a message directly to my head. I can receive messages. I just can't send them out. Okay. Or I could take the animal messenger spell. But I will let you know in the next 24 hours if I find anything. If all else fails, I have this. And he... Produces a scroll, a solid gold scroll. Oh, those are rare. This is world tier or true banishment. If all else fails, I will send it. Ooh, powerful magic. Okay. This was only attainable by downing three Draco liches, four ogres, and 25 of those blasted cannibals. Those buckers. Uh, I was trying to take a bite out of you. Okay. Hi. Always a oh um what mm. oh yes um my master uh, uh, he requires us to call him that um he created something in recent months that you should be aware of it can he's wondering if it can learn to breathe on land uh, it's some sort of abomination 
Rosu it's makes like a, a face. skull, but with tentacles. I, I know. I know what it is. It's disgusting. And I oh, you've see. seen it? Yes. Oh, thank God. I saw it. I was the only one in my group to see it. And then everyone's like, oh, no, you're making it up. You're making it up. No. What? It's disgusting. It's like an undead tentacle monster coming. Ugh. Oh, it's the terrible thing is it's not undead. He just created it in such a way that its skull shows through its skin. Oh, 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 oh. sorry. Uh, you um, don't have to yeah. think about it anymore. But anyway, those things are on a mission. There's more than to one. Learn to breathe. Uh, there's five Oto right now. Ah. Uh. They're on a mission to one, try to breathe air, and two, try to kill someone named Iluai. I don't know what that is. Turn to silence. Okay, silence. New mission for Mr. Black Boy. Ooh, yay. How about kill those little freaky things? Yes, ma'am. You're currently over there with Rio. You have to travel over to Kayla I'm chilling. Great time. Bailiff is by the slime side of the move. Oh my gosh. You you see him walk over to the many uh, slimes. You see this? Okay, you're Violet, Jericho, Gladius, and Nox. Okay, so out of game. If anyone's going to die first of his little offspring, it has to be Jericho, and he has to fall like the walls. <laughs> no. <laughs> so somebody has to walk around him several times, blowing a horn. <laughs> yes. Yes! <laughs> wow! You wish my child to die. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you named it Jericho. <laughs> I was just coming up with a name, man. <laughs> oh, God, that's that's actually pretty fucking funny. Oh, God, okay. Ooh, I've had my fun. <laughs> Sent, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, that's just, a great question. I'm just standing here, just relaxing. By that's the way, I'm thing. paying no mind to, uh, what's his name? Either. <laughs> so I'm just, right now, I'm just like, you're this one, you're this one. <laughs> so you're just relaxing, listening to, to all pick this. Picking up the chest. Picking up the chest. Uh, you are able to pick up the chest without any issues. Oh. I'm going to look in it and just pick through what I like to see. You see a lot of belonging, and you see something in particular. It looks to, um, it doesn't look like it belongs here. It doesn't look like it really be some sort of, some s sort of staff. Oh. Uh, Bow staff? No, it's like a spell casting staff of some sort. It's very gnarled. Like it was just ripped off of a tree. Like it was just ripped off of a true what? Tree. A tree. Oh, well, uh, holy site? Are you ain't sure what they holy site Are you using holy site on it? Yeah. <laughs> As you look upon it, you notice that this thing is normal. Oh, that's disappointing. Puts it back in the chest. No, no, it's not normal. As in, there's something about it. It is it, it is known in Yggdrasil, classified as a forbidden item. Oh, am I currently being looked at? I'm pretty sure we're getting talked. Hildrick is probably looking at you. Hildrick is unconscious on the ground after such a tough fight. Oh. Can I slowly and silently see if I can fit this in my bag? Okay. As you touch it, I get to roll stuff. Oh no. I love rolling stuff. I love rolling stuff. I love rolling stuff. I love rolling stuff. I'm now just wondering why Valif is just standing there next to me. My children. It's probably the first time he's ever seen my type of slime, probably. Because I am technically the first. Interestingly time. enough, you see him bring out a little black book and write down some information. I look at him with a curious look now. What you doing? He doesn't respond. <laughs> okay. Tenth salvo. My mm -hmm. good sir. Yeah. My friend. I don't like it when you You're going to make Rio hate me. What? Uh, don't tell me he's playing into five people too. Oh no, heavens no. Or he's summoning another he is OP transforming. character. What? No. 
He took me to honey. He found his secret by touching a stick. What? <laughs> he found one of his sticks. By touching a stick. A forbidden item stick. <laughs> touching a stick. <laughs> the, forbidden stick. stick. the forbidden stick. The forbidden stick. As a you see him stick. wrapped up uh, 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 as he starts transforming, like all of a sudden, magic release look almost the same. Like you look in like a shiny surface, just check your face. You look the same, but then you feel something off about your body. Gonna check myself out? Gonna yes. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. I'm sure we all turn to him. As he flash? No, he's wrapped up in a dark energy. Oh. As all of a sudden, your, your form changes all at once. As you grow more muscular, more fit, you all of a sudden, as if by magic, well, it is magic, spell breaks again. You see a huge difference in your face and in your body as your skin is no longer this pale color. But it is a dark, dark hole black. Your fingers are no longer fingers, but they are just claws. And shiny surface, you pull back your scarf and you notice that your teeth, your mouth has transformed from normal lips to like a jagged jawline. Kind of like the, the Assault Titan from Attack on Titan. Very jagged, sharp teeth. Your horns on top of your head have grown into more bull-like horns. And your ears have grown and, you know, have those typical frays that changelings do, but they're more frayed than ever. So, no. <laughs> no, he is not. <laughs> As you realize what you have transformed into, can uh, uh actually make this interesting? Can I get a nature? Yes. Okay. Is his oh, hair God. and eyes the same? His hair is actually more of a mane than anything. His eyes are the same, pitch black with red eye uh, with red um I, I, iris. Yeah. <laughs> it's more like a um. It's like Raditz's hair from Dragon Ball. Oh, so I got longer. And you see that he he has long spindly limbs that like stretch out longer than they do. So now whenever you hit things, you consider having a reach. So Synth, you are now no longer considered complete changeling. You are considered the purest form, the original changeling. You are now Shadow Demon. Oh shit. Oh gosh. I knew he had to be a demon. Oh, oh, he's so going to be such a pain in the butt demon. now. All right, I know, I know. It looks like I touched something. I touched nothing. I'm just standing here. I picked up a stick. That's all I did. I'm pointing a finger at you. I'm like, <laughs> hey, look, he's not an incubus. <laughs> Ooh, he's not an incubus. <laughs> Make me shoot you. My character thinks he's an incubus because incubus can also take on many forms. I uh, put the chest down. And step away. What the heck did you do? All I did was touch the chest. I opened it. I saw a stick. Touch stick. That's all I did. I, all, I, all, all I did, literally. Okay, I just well, what, touched the what stick. stick was it? Uh, it was just this black stick. Do I still have the stick? Uh, the stick is no longer in your hand. Okay, there was a stick here. Uh, I'm not lying. There was a stick here. But it's gone. I don't know what happened to it. It's, it was a stick. Okay, so you activated it and it became part of you. I don't know how to activate. I never okay. activated. I, I just touched a stick. I just touched a stick. That's all. It did. Maybe just by touching it, you activated it. Maybe, but I guess it wasn't a stick. It wasn't just a stick. Did you put something strange with our stuff? No, I found it locked like I gave it to you. Why? Because I'm. Oh my goodness, what happened to him? You just noticed yeah, he's that. Not an he's not one. <laughs> Looks like an incubus to me. Okay. No, he doesn't have a tail. I look over how do you, to make how sure. How do you know that? <laughs> Maybe it's really small. Can I grow a tail? Can I grow wings? Uh, do you test it out? Yeah, I want to test it out. Wings and a tail sprout. See? <laughs> okay, hush and your children. At like wings. Oh my god! <laughs> this just further proves my character's point. Nice. To give you a rough 
idea of what he looks like with his new form, I'm going to post this board. So, I know, I'm just making fun of him because of how his demon appearances. A new description of how you want your character to look. Oh, you know how he looks. Like change my hair again. Yeah. This mm. next video is going to take a little longer to come out. Hiatus, <laughs> <laughs> hiatus, so beautiful hiatus. I mean, with the kids, with Sim, <laughs> and with our... Oh my gosh, you can upgrade your NPC now. Oh, that, shit, that is true. Yes, uh, just to tell you, you have been upgraded to be able to summon lesser demons than yourself. You're able to summon either a fellow changeling... Um, let's see here. Has good um, option. Uh, let's see. Uh, you are also able to summon um, so all sorts of like NPCs. If you have an idea, please ask me about it before you make it. Okay. Um. Uh. Whenever. Um. And, and he goes. Well, I would have a longer, but I do have to get back. You going to leave me with these crazy people? Would you like a vacation to my place? Uh, good point. No. Or would you like a vacation to somewhere that's peace where you can think? I can teach you a spell that gives you peace of mind. No, I got calm emotions. Don't worry. What about a peaceful place where you can think where no one can interrupt you no matter how hard they try? I'm pretty sure I can do that if I can put my mind to it. Okay. Thank you. Oh, no problem. If anything, I understand your plight. She's like, gives her him his oh, really face and kind of points at the group of slimes next to the horde OP NPC and then Sith, who looks like a creature from hell. Well, now the, <laughs> the one problem. <laughs> well, I'm going to leave you with this thought. I never said I was the most complete, nicest person in the world. Here's a thought. Now that he's a shadow demon, Asmodeus might be um, visiting you soon. Bye! Wait, what? Uh, who? Asmodeus. Is he like the ruler of, of hell? He's huh? the ruler of the of the nine hells. Yep. Jesus, how many kings am I going to have to meet? I'm going to be able to make connections okay. and will hell end here? I'm sorry, Ooh. but there's no way in, well, hell that I am <laughs> going to meet this thing. I'm sorry. I will be killed. Oh, this spot. Okay, moving away. <laughs> but we're a team, Rosu. Come on. Don't be such a bad sport. You're so mean. He's just a guy. <laughs> yeah, he's just a right king right. of hell. What's the problem? Hi. What is your word? Hey, Rosu, didn't you have an idea of what you want him to do? Come back over here. Talk to him. Head. Okay, Lord it's Rosa. the crystals or kill the abominations that are going to be coming after Lord Ains. Big favor with Lord Ains. We'll all be happy. That's true. Kill abominations and gather crystals very well. As he teleports out. <laughs> cool. Oh, she collapsed to the ground. Fritz was just never scared to begin with. By the way, I gave you a, a little tab um, for Ooh. your little babies. Uh, please right. make them. Please make them. Um, general wise, uh, a level, each of them need to be at least level one normal slime of your class. Got it? Level one standard level array. One. Standard array. Uh, um, spells. Uh, standard array stats. So the same class he is now. Yes. So level one, higher race. Gotcha. You, uh, I think you have the ability to edit them as you need to. Uh, if you need help. Uh, I'll after that this. later throughout the weeks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, please take your time. But there is the limit of a month. So keep that in mind. Yeah, I know. I'll get it done. Don't worry. Yep. Um, uh, you see them all abruptly shrink in size and become little globules of of slime and they all gather upon your person and just ride you. Yay. I'm going to do some unique artistic ability and say each one has a different leaf or flower or whatever. Yep, yeah. that is truly up to them. There we go. I'll get the details you know, from you like later. Like the leaves different colors, that way we can tell them apart. It's are they different colors, bloody? Actually they are. Okay. 
That'll make it easier. Uh, so the female one is I is funny enough. She is a distinct color of uh, violet. Um, hard to no no. It's not violet. No, her name's I, Violet. So I was just saying violet. Um. Oh, well, it's more like a. I named her after the like fire. The color. Kind of like the color of lightning when it's animated. So white like and it's blue. It's a bluish white. It's a bluish white. white um, the five. three blue. boys okay. are distinct colors as well. Um, one of them is um, one of them definitely looks exactly like like Fritz exactly, except for one little detail. His eyes are. Actually, not yellow, but they are distinct reddish color. Okay. Um, then the other two are a distinct color of other senses of nature. One is more of a grayish color, indicating like stone and like other like genres of material. You see a little bit of a copper color in there. I got a feeling that's a sliver. And his eyes are gold. That's probably Jericho. Okay. Most likely, yeah. That's probably Jericho. Uh, and the last one is by far the most shocking of them all. That guy is hot pink. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let me get this right. Right. We got lightning color. We have stone color. We have metal color. And we got hot pink dude. Oh, we got... Uh, we got you almost got that right. Uh, one of them looks exactly like Fritz, same color scheme oh, Fritz, and everything, but red it. eyes. Okay, Fritz, message me which one's which later. All right, I did not have all that written down, so could somebody please, you know, put that list down so I can. I know Jericho is the one that looks kind of like stone. If nothing else, we've watched the bot. Violet, Violet is the one that's uh, the lightning colored. So yeah, uh, I'm guessing this is where we're going to end it for right now. Basically, yeah, it's a lot easier than I've on everybody that, and I'm giving you your um, NPC things. Gladius is going to be the one that looks like me, and the hot pink is going to be no- Nox. <laughs> This is a breathtaking pace.